Welcome back to another Habs Nation video with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchie. Let's talk about Juraj Slavkovsky. I've seen some of the negative discourse around Slavkovsky from some Canadians fans on social media, and I find it baffling. Slavkovsky was the only player drafted in 2022 to play more than eight games in the NHL. Yes, he only registered 10 points in 39 games, but he's only played 39 games, and he turned 19 at the end of March. I don't know what Slavkovsky will ultimately become, but no one really does. It is up in the air at the moment, and nothing I saw from him last season suggests that the book is closed on him. I saw potential. I saw a big body with skill. I saw a kid trying to adjust to the best league in the world and taking important steps toward that adjustment. I saw a kid who was afraid of making mistakes, who played an intentionally conservative game because of the situation he found himself in, but who was capable of much more. Had he been able to finish the season, I truly believe Slavkovsky would have found a groove. The plan the Canadians had for him was sound. I've read so many people saying the Canadians rushed him to the NHL and maybe they did, but they went about it the right way, giving him little bites and resisting the temptation to give him too much without earning it. Martin St. Louis is disagrees with the Habs fans, believe Slavkovsky was a failure. St. Louis pushed back hard on the notion that it was a failure. He saw improvement in Slavkovsky, and had he remained healthy, he saw a progression that would have led to more opportunity and more important minutes eventually. Once he had earned it, that moment hasn't come yet. But I believe it will come this season. I think expectations need to be reasonable for the coming season for Slavkovsky. In fact, I think they need to be reasonable for what he will one day become as a player as well. I think he can hit 20 goals and 40 points in his second season, assuming he stays healthy because he learned a lot in his limited NHL time as a rookie. I think he will get more of a leash from his coach, St. Louis said. Watching some of his games from earlier in the season, he felt Slavkovsky stood out, and he made a point of mentioning that once all the emotion and everything was stripped away, once he was able to watch the games objectively, that became clearer to him. I think it's important to remember that no one projected Slavkovsky to become a typical number one superstar. He was drafted primarily because of his toolkit and the Canadians' belief that they could develop that toolkit into a highly effective NHL player. Not necessarily a superstar, but an important piece of a puzzle. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, I don't know. But what I do know is Slavkovsky's story has not been written yet. It's only beginning, in fact, and everyone would be best served allowing the process to play out before passing judgment. That's all, my friend, about Juraj Slavkovsky. Thank you to watching another Habs Nation video. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and finally let us a comment about this video. And remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wishes you an amazing, great, and blessing day.